we're going to do a series of pipe welding videos on 4 inch schedule 40. This particular one is going to be like that intro, get you started type thing. We're going to kind of roll this out. We're using a smaller V-block over here on the table. So, you know, we could go to a little bit more than quarters. I know that on the small bore two inch pipe, we, we did it in quarters. This one, we can actually reach a little bit lower. But again, this was to build confidence, and get you started. My fit is uh, going to be a loose 332. I'm going to use a number five cup and we're going to put roots in today. Let's get some gear on and get going. I'm going to heat the leading edge of this root up. I'm trying to keep the wire on the leading edge and down low in the groove. My personal preference here is to rest the cup gently in this groove here. I have a number five cup and I like to just do the wiggle thing when I'm doing this in quarters. That way I can come up here on, on top. I intend on blending into this tack up here, heating it up and pushing some wire in it and fusing it all together. So I might be slightly over the top when I get there and that's fine. Again, this is to build confidence, being right here in position where you're not in a weird, you know, not uncomfortable. So uh, you could hold the torch different. Since I said I was walking the cup in there, I could do this by resting the heel of my hand in here, freehanding it. Flex neck torch allows me to get right in there. So when I come up to attack, I kind of like to heat everything up, dab some wire in there, wash back across and blend it all together. Okay, I can tell where I came off of the, the leading edge and I melted that. There's always a little bump in there. But then the rest of it shows the edge is broken down and some reinforcement. So we're fine, that, that is our goal. <clears throat> want a little reinforcement, want to make sure that we're melting edges. It's not so much about forcing it in there and blowing a big keyhole and all that kind of stuff. You just kind of, that technique is, we're breaking down the edges of the pipe bevel. We're keeping the wire in there so that we can control it. That'll build your confidence when you're starting to weld these and learning how. Another method, as I mentioned before, you know, you can rest the heel of your hand against the pipe and freehand this in here. I'm going to try to demonstrate that while I'm doing it. This is going to be more of a work the tungsten back a little bit, small keyhole, dab the wire in there and keep going. We'll see what happens. I'm going to heat the leading edge of my root up here. Trying to do the little keyhole dab thing. Dab, dab, dab. I feel like I'm shaking like a puppy pooping peach seeds here. Again, this is not my preferred method, but some of you may be real comfortable with it. Well, <clears throat> that looks okay. It's not my preferred method, but it came out just fine. I've done this before. Sometimes you're forced to do that by position and uh, availability to your weld. Again, my preferred method is to rest the cup in there and just take a walk. You know, this one kind of keyholing and dabbing and resting my pipe on the hand, or on the, resting the heel of my hand on the pipe. So, you know, again, there's multiple ways to do this, but this will get you started. You know, you can relax, do these in quarters, get confident, see your results right away. 
We're going to be doing more routes in multiple positions. We're also going to be filling and capping these welds. Four inch schedule 40. Appreciate you watching weld.com and subscribing. Please check us out on Instagram and Facebook. By the way, if you want to get a notification of whenever we put content out, hit the bell button down there and you'll get a little notification. You get a little dinger. You can come see us. Thanks for watching.